Here I am again, your teacher for this moment, and I am Sir Mark. Today, the lesson that we are going to discuss is all about solvadratic equations by extracting square root. So in this video, you will learn how to solve the roots of quadratic equation by extracting square root. In order to understand this lesson, it is very important to know the definition of a square root. What do you mean by square root? A square root of a number is a value that when multiplied by itself gives a number. Example, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So 16 is a perfect square number. So if we are going to get the square root of 16, that gives us a positive 4. But always remember that negative 4 times negative 4 is also equal to 16. Therefore, the square root of 16 is also equal to negative 4. In order to understand this lesson easily, I recommend you to memorize perfect square number from 1 to 30. So if I have here, 1 times 1 is equal to 1, which means that the square root of 1 is equal to 1. Then 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Up to 30 times 30, which is equal to 900. Therefore, the square root of 900 is equal to 30. Now that you already familiarized yourself with perfect square number, you can now solve these equations. Example number 1. x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. If this is the given, the first thing that you need to do is to transpose negative 25 on the other side. Always take note in transposing, do not forget to change the sign. So we will be having x squared is equal to 25. Then, extract square roots. So we have x is equal to positive and negative is square root of 25. To get the square root of 25, all you have to do is to think of a number when you multiply by itself, the answer is 25. And that is 5. Because 5 times 5 is equal to 25. Therefore, the value of x is equal to positive and negative. Example number 2. x squared minus 10 is equal to 0. The first process is to transpose negative 10 on the other side. We have x squared is equal to 10. Then extract square root. So we have x is equal to positive and negative square root of 10. We all know that 10 is not a perfect square number because we not, cannot think of a number when we multiply by itself. The answer is 10. So therefore, this is already the final answer. Example number 3. x squared minus 48 is equal to 0. Next, you are going to transpose negative 48 on the other side. So we will be having x squared is equal to 48. Then extract square roots. So we will be having x is equal to positive and negative square root of 48. Square root of 48 is not a perfect square number, but we can manipulate it with factors having a perfect square number. Let us enumerate the factors of 48. And the factors of 48 are, we have 1 and 48, 2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, and 6 and 8. Among these pairs of factors, we have two perfect square numbers which are 4 and 16. But we are going to choose the bigger one, which is 16. So we have 3 times 16 which is equal to 48. Therefore, x is equal to positive and negative square root of 16 times 3. The square root of 16 is equal to 4. Therefore, we have x is equal to positive and negative 4 is square root of 3. Example number 4. x squared plus 100 is equal to 0. Again, the first process is to transpose positive 100 on the other side. So we will be having x squared is equal to negative 100. From positive, it turns out to negative. So we have x is equal to positive and negative square root of negative 100. So we have the square root of 100 is equal to 10, but always take note if we have negative, this is automatically imaginary. So we will be having x is equal to positive and negative 10 i. And this i represents imaginary. 
example number 5. The quantity of x minus 3 squared is equal to 16. If this is the kind of given, the first process is to extract square root. So we have x is equal to positive and negative square root of 16. Then, we have x3 is equal to, the square root of 16 is you are going to think of a number. When you multiply by itself, the answer is 16, and that is 4. So, we have positive and negative 4. Then, tra transpose negative 3 on the other side. So, we have x is equal to, from negative 3, it will become positive 3, plus and minus 4. Then, we have x is equal to, we are going to separate positive and negative. We have 3 plus 4, and the other one is 3 minus 4. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Therefore, these are the roots of x. Example number 6. 4 times the quantity of x minus 5 squared is equal to 20. If this is the kind of given, the first thing that we need to do is to divide both sides by 4. So we can cancel this. So we will be having the quantity of x minus 5 squared is equal to 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Then, extract square root. So we have x minus 5 is equal to positive and negative square root of 5. Since 5 is not a perfect square number, the next process is to transpose negative 5 on the other side. So we have x is equal to, from negative, it will become positive, plus and minus square root of 5. Since you cannot combine these terms, this is already the final answer. Example number 7, 4x squared minus 3 is equal to 9. If this is the kind of given, the first process is to transpose negative 3 on the other side. So we will be having 4x squared is equal to 9. From negative 3, it will become positive 3. So we have 4x squared is equal to 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 4, we have x squared is equal to 3. Then extract square root, we have x is equal to positive and negative square root of 3. Since 3 is not a perfect square number, this is already the final answer. And that concludes our lesson about solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. Do you have any question? If there is none, can you answer the roots of this equation? If you already have your answer, comment your answer in the comment section. Until our next video tutorial, thank you for watching and God bless. Show me your adventures I haven't seen.